All right, so this is where we left off last night. And we have this little group of 27 logs and we counted them. So this is 27, 26, and 25. And our cache where we left all our tools is just up the hill here. Grab that stuff. We get to cutting here in no time. It is 7.36, so it was about an exactly an hour hike in. And let's see what Avenza says. We've gone 2.23 miles. Walking speed was 0.81. Oh, average speed was 2.39 miles an hour. So that looks good. 2.23 miles. I'm going to work on these while the other folks are showing up. That was kind of my evil plan. I figured I'd uh, start off trying out this handy dandy brand new awesome aluminum rock bar. And see if I can't uh, do a little damage to this little guy. Welcome to the party. <laughs> I'm glad I made it. Uh, I thought you'd have it all done, but. Well, you know. Just jump over here real quick. Yep, yep, yep. Tucker plus four going into service on the Pacific Crest Trail about 2.3 miles north of Minto Pass. Copy your location and just repeat your identifier again, please. Tucker plus four. farther off the trail, but that gives us an opportunity to cut that other log yeah. without. Quite so handy dandy carrying it in the woods. That was the thought. It was a dream. Yeah, this is one of those where it's spiky enough that, yeah. like you said, you know, that finger thing. So maybe if we just uh, eat both up here and walk that way, we just pivot it. Or do you want to keep kind of moving? Um, that would be one more bump. More. I'd say that's bumpy enough. Yep. Well, uh, this guy's next, right? And I would say we cut it right over the top of this. 
So yeah, it, and it's high enough so probably, well, let's see, center of the trail. Yeah, as long as we do it about that, it'll be fine. Yeah. And it looks like we might have to two cut this one. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's easier just to do it. cranky broken stuff at the bottom. Uh -huh. Now we're through. Got the saw? All yours. So um Tom's legs were not crooked. Yeah. And I just kinda it was like, well, you know, I'm gonna let you down and I was like no. And so he's gonna go back to the camp. He went back to the camp. Okay. He's gonna hang there. Or hang at the parking lot, either, either, until okay. we get back. Okay, so he thinks he might actually walk, you know, pack up and walk out? I doubt it. Okay. I think that would be his second option. Okay. I think he's going to hang at the camp and maybe go for a swim or okay. cool down. But it, he, he's still struggling. Yeah, it's getting pretty so. Yeah. Okay, so we know we need to clear this bottom one. So I would almost suggest that we cut this one way off the trail over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yep, and maybe just push this log, you know, a little bit further off as well. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. Oh. Oh, hey, well, hey, look. Sometimes that can make for a harder cut. No, I don't even think about cutting it. I'm thinking about... Jumping on it? Not even thinking about that. I think it's already broken. I think... Everybody clear? Yep. You can use the uh, yeah. the message thing as well. Yeah. You called it, Pete. And that's the reason why I'm glad everybody was clear. Yes. Because that thing bopped up and could have bopped up. Okay, so in the interest of getting this one well and clear of this, yeah, maybe we can lift it up and over the other That's kind of what I'm thinking, and, uh... That's kind of what I'm thinking, and, uh... So, if you get that side, and I get this side, we may be able to... Maybe another person here. I'm not gonna be a hero here. Many hands make light work. Look out. There we go. All we have to do is get over that stop and just get ready to get there. How do we want to divide up into teams? Might as well break into two teams at this point. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, somebody ought to get started on that main course right okay. there. Um, I prefer to work with uh, my saw, so... Uh, okay. Do you want to finish this guy up? Uh, sure. And we can start sawing away on that one. Uh -huh. Here, Pete, I can jump in here. Uh -huh. I'm rusty. No, but I think that's probably part of it. We get Tom's axe is right here. He's, oh. he's going to stay. He's we got Tom's axe right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm almost 90% sure he'll Yeah, no, no my concern was just that he had his axe with him, but it's right over oh, there. Oh, no. No, okay, we got so it. We got can it you stuff. pass me a few wedges and that? Yep. Oh, got it. It was under the seat. Uh, a little 
we're also going to assume that this thing drops. So we'll want to take. We don't have to go crazy deep. It gets bark off. I just want to get whatever impinges dirt. So that's kind of the top quarter of it. You know what I mean? Because I don't want dirt getting into our. Uh, At some point, I'm going to have to stop the dirt. The bark off. I just want to get whatever impinges dirt. So that's kind of the top quarter of it. You know what I mean? Because I don't want dirt getting into our uh, cut. Because dirt is what uh, kills our saw. And it doesn't have to be 12 inches. It could just be a nice, narrow little channel. It's just... I don't know if I'm helping or not. You're doing great. And down here, too. Okay. Um, now, you see how there's dirt kind of trapped in there? Let me see that real quick. Twist, go in, and then I like to just do a little twist out. Sometimes that works, and sometimes your cut is much more. Uh, I had a few more days. Seems like a good time for the helper hander. Yeah. Handle. So, I think what we're gonna want to do is cut it like this. Okay. Um, so that allows this piece. Um, we want to cut it like this, other way, because we want. I think this is going to want to drop down. You right. see what I'm saying? The stump is going to want to drop down. Right. So we want to cut that to let the stump drop, while leaving this in the air. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I think we can do a fairly perpendicular cut, but we probably want to open it up just a little bit, like what we got right there, because I think we want to take this piece and go this way. So that's kind of our opening of our pie chunk and we'll just pull this chunk out okay. so let's see what we can do with starting our shot clock it's starting the shot. Yes, sir. what's what, what's our time uh, i have i have the stop clock actually going aha uh -huh. well, there you go and this is one we're going to want to to keep it straight. <sighs> we may be binding already. That's not good. Because I'm twisting? I'm too much. No, I think it's... It's, just, it's it's also just wet, dense log. Let's see if we can cut a little bit more because yeah. Yeah. if we can get another inch or two, we can get a wedge in there. And if yeah. we can't get a wedge in there, we may be channeling this thing. I think we just got really wet, really sappy wood. And I can't imagine that this thing's binding already, but there's a lot of pressure here. That's resting fairly good on that rotten log right there. But you got a whole lot of stump pushing on this too, so. Yeah, I kind of feel the stump pushing on it is what I feel. Heart rate was 110 on the walk up to here. Heart rate's 139 cutting this. <laughs> you know where the work is. It's my bad. Kind of taking a risk here. 
But I think it's a calculated one. I hear it creaking. You can see right now we've been cutting through at an angle. Yeah. So if we cut level, then we got a little less wood to get to sure. in order to get progress. I come down? Uh, no, you're fine right there. Yeah, you're gonna go down. We're just gonna keep this level. Okay. We'll have less material. Are we bound? No, nope. there we go. Something in there. But I mean, I barely put that thing in there. Because if you hit the top of the saw, you're just as, just as stopped. Maybe that'll be something, but something tells me. This is where I wish I had a Katana Boy. What is that? Uh, it's a 18 inch long folding saw. And what I would do is wedge the top and use a Katana Boy to go another inch down and then get the this guy back in it. Yeah, see so we're on the... I, I just can't keep with it so wet. I can't keep it level. Right now I'll take any progress we can get. Because if we can just get down just a little bit more. Think we need to channel it? Yes. Okay, let's lift it out. The only, what I start thinking about is just, I could grind it, I could, but then I don't know how many more logs I could do today. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna cut here and we're gonna aim for uh, our cut. Okay. And we're gonna just take out a big pie cut. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes sense. This one horizontal too because I don't want to get deep in that wood and have it start binding up again. You know what I mean? Go a little bit deeper. And then we'll get the Pulaski out and channel that out. 10 more pulls. Yep. It's sticky, isn't it? I need to hit the gym more, I think. 
Or just come with us more often. <laughs> Jim, get your... We're getting there. Okay, I've got the uh, rock yeah. problem on my side, so okay. if you could tilt a little bit more towards you, yeah. John, that would help. Um, give me a yeah. minute to adjust. Good. That makes sense? Yeah. We're going to hit it like that. All right. And hopefully, give it some big swings, like over the head. Line it up, gotta hit the right spot. All the power of an of one of these tools is in the swing. Yeah. When you do this, it's all muscle. When you do this, when you start at your knee and you go like that, you're now taking advantage of all of the force. These are not very sticky. Yeah. So, <laughs> you want to hit it? Keep going. That's all forearm. You see what I'm saying? But hey, if it works, I'm not arguing. It's just I, I'm just not as uh, confident coming down from here and being lined up. Or I start here. Right, that's Paul Bunyan, ass guy. Sacred 104, Central Oregon. See. Channel that out. I think I'm going to reposition my camera. Copy your vitals. So we're going to try to res resume our original cut. Okay. And it's going to be challenging because we got all that broken material right there. Any better? No, it's better. Other choice here. It's uh, this thing is just 
<sighs> Should I turn this handle? Uh, depends on how you want to go upside down or not. I take this little bad boy off. You do what, which way do you want to go? Okay. So I'd say we want to be a little downhill of where we started to cut, and I just say we go straight up. I don't want to mess around with anything here. So with the curve, open or close here if the log goes down. is on the top right it should open on the bottom yeah Got it. so theoretically if I'm thinking this is gonna go this way and I'm actually thinking we're gonna end up with this laying somewhat in the trail and I'm gonna do some work on it chopping off these big top pieces but so you think that this this is gonna come flopping you can't uh, yeah, I guess you, can. you need to come along or something to crank right. it back right oh yeah, uh, yeah. come along would be good um, possible we could do it with uh, 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 the ropes we've got and a windlass. You know, winding the rope up. better now we're doing it much more efficient are you stuck You know, the other thing we may want to do is pause and stack rocks underneath this. So it doesn't, uh, so it gives us a second before it falls? Or? Um, so it doesn't fall into the trail. If we... You want me to grab some rocks? Let's get the saw out. Just so the saw's not, I'll let you take custody. Yeah. I'm not worried about this, I'm worried about the rest of the day. I don't know what I'm going to be able to produce. You want some of these guys back here? Any more down your way or are you getting in trouble? I need something to sit on. Uh, I left my sofa at home. <laughs> I think we got a good inch to go, but, but our last inch, we're going to be, I think we need to be standing. Because I have two inches before I meet up my other cut. Is that about what you've got? Two inches before you meet up with up here? Yeah. I got you back. I got full height. Okay. That's because I've been pulling up as I've been cutting. So we got a long way to go then. I'll try to maintain my altitude and let you finish cutting up. Does that make sense? Okay. I've been... As I've been cutting back, I've been pulling up, just trying to remove as yeah. much material out of every, making everyone count. No, I, I, I'm Ready with, whenever you are. I'm with you. I'm 100% with you. You guys win? There we go. We got rhythm. Yes. So you think, you think this thing could just, it could do anything? It could go that way, but I think it's going to go this way. Uh, I think 90% chance it's just going to fold into our cut. Does that make that sense? If this thing comes towards yeah. me. This... Right. That's the reason why we're going to get really close. And when right, we get really... bind on this thing? <laughs> oh, there's bind everywhere. It's opening on the bottom though. Well, that's this is the reason why we're going to get a, uh, within an inch of, of meeting up with our other cut and then we're standing and we're doing that last inch 
on the end of our hand facing the other way down the trail so yeah. we can run. The feeling is that this is going to collapse down like this? Yeah. yeah. I've got rocks stacked underneath it to slow it, but right. this is a... Uh, so I, I'm within about an inch. Where are you of meeting up with your cut? I'm now there. Okay, so let's get that to let's get that closer. You let me know when it's uh, down to about the last inch. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm a freaking feels like I'm ten miles away from that. But... You can do it. You can do it. I don't, I don't know why. I am suffering. Think of the Doors song, uh, push on through to the other side. That's okay. basically what we're doing. I can bear down. <sighs> All right, I'm pulling. it up let's do that let's just we're so close to being done with this okay. i don't want to go through a 45 minute process of rigging something else up yeah. when we're 30 seconds away from right. figuring out whether or not which way this thing's going to go although it's clearly heading yeah. down as far as the kerf is showing so this is coming down yeah you see how the kerf is you see how much farther open it is on the bottom yeah and odds are given all the mass that's on here it, what is going to happen is it's just going to settle in and lock this saw down. And then what happens there? Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, what we should probably do before we get any start farther started, um, can you hold this, that up? Yes. It's kind of it's similar to my windshield edges. What I want to do. Maybe. So what I need is, uh, I need to put a wedge in underneath it, pointing up. Oh, to keep the saw in place? No, to keep the kerf from closing onto the saw. Okay. Once we cut through, we don't want it yeah. to collapse onto the kerf and hold the saw in. That way we can get the saw out. So what I need you to do, if you can, is hold the saw back to you as much as possible. Doesn't have to be a cut. Get it to you. And now, can you hold it upright and parallel right about there? Perfect. Now I'm going to put the wedge in here. Be a lot, just enough to keep that from closing, so we can disconnect your handle and I can pull the saw out. Okay. So I'm okay to stand. You're okay to stand. I'm okay to stand. Finish it up. You're pulling down real hard on me, so I don't know whether I'm supposed to go with so, your motion or so. keep. Or keep you from yanking. You know what I mean? Okay. And there you go again, pulling down real hard. Smooth and glide. I'm getting back down on the ground so I can, because I'm pulling with all of my, oh, we got a hiker. Oh, you might want to dodge that way. This way? Yep. Okay. This thing's ready to roll at any moment. How are you doing today? Not too bad. How are you guys? Not too bad. Got a good early start? Yeah, about five o'clock. Nice. 
Uh, everything was pointing towards it falling in on us, but with the wedges there and with this thing here, it's, I don't think it's really going to go anywhere. Oh, don't, okay, okay. I don't. I just want to be prepared for the eventuality that, that something happens. You know, the anxiety of the moment is now creeping in. Oops, and my wedge just dropped out from underneath. See that? That definitely means she's opening. I'll tap that back in. Okay, a little bit more. Let's do another five more and then let's just cut the other side and see what that gets us. Okay. Five more. I'll give you six. Pull it. I'm pulling. Okay, you're pulling. Okay. Let's, uh, I don't think this is doing us any good. Let's pull it out from the bottom. You're going down? There we go. You got it? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Yes, sir. That one. Yep. I have never used it. <laughs> That's what typically I end up curing. Really hope we get a wedge in on this one. To tune up the wedges. Okay. All right, you tell me. Uh, I don't think you can go as deep as you want, I think. Next time I'm putting my ear protection on, <laughs> it bothers my ears. To you. Happen 
I should have busted that more. Okay, rotate it sideways. And then take the saw. Saw. Now is I think the time when we're gonna have to employ a windlass. And that is a rescue knot, a figure eight rescue knot. And the reason why you do that is this overhand knot that you see here uh, decreases the st static load capacity of this rope by 50 to 60 percent if not more this does not reduce it because the, the angles on this are so tight it pinches the rope and that makes it less strong okay that makes sense is there enough here there is enough here to get through You guys got the rock bar? Go for it. There goes the battle. Great. Winning? Yeah, we're just about there. Yeah. One more cut and you guys are done. Yeah, styling. We are having fun on this top one. Mm. Uh, that whole thing up then? Is it trying to stand up like it didn't, like our first cut? So, like our first cut. Don't get your head underneath that. That's got a lot of kinet kinetic energy in it. It'll spin around six times or longer. Okay, so our kerf on the stump flowed. Does that make sense? Which is good. Um, so, what I'm hoping you can do is you can hold on to that for a second. Because remember, on the stump, it was open on the bottom, right? Yeah. All that is closed. So that means this is going up. But it hasn't parted here. And so what I'm going to do is use the saw and finish our cut because it should be opening on the top. See what I'm saying? Okay. You okay? Rope broke. Shit. That was close to my head. Damn. <laughs> I, was, I was like this. Good wow, thing, look uh, at that thing. <laughs> that thing just came through like a freaking missile. Okay, well, that was... Did the first aid kit could have handled that? <laughs> uh, yeah, and a tourniquet around the neck. Yeah.
keeps keep cutting? Uh, yeah, something. I don't really know what to do at this point, other than to just keep chewing away at it until something happens. If you, maybe this is a dumb thing, but if you put those wedges in on the side and you hit them with that, you give it a shot. You got plenty of wedges. Good an idea is the next idea. I, I know I, it just seems like, you know. If you can get them in there and you can get it started, then. Heard something. I think you uh, have the right idea. What's also interesting, too, is that it seems like the tree is rotating. Might be a good thing. Like the bottom picked out a little bit. Yeah. Keep going. Sure. Learn. The only way you, uh, sometimes the only way you learn the, uh, these lessons is the hard way. So there's two here. Do we need more? Probably. Okay. We may even get it to a point where we can shove something else in there. We have another option too, I think. Which is knock, try to knock this piece out. Yeah. If we knock this piece out, this is going to fall over. But at least the trail is clear, and this is laying wherever it ends up laying in the trail. My concern, of course, is, is that when this starts falling, it may start rolling, and it may just roll down into the trail or some evilness. But at least we know we're through here, and that's the important thing. That was good to establish with the wedges that we're not going to be fighting that. How much wedge do you think we would need? Because it doesn't look like to me we'd need much. Should I go that way? No, I don't think so. Well, what, what do you, what's, what's your thoughts? I think the same thing. I mean, to me, it seems like it's about ready to come free. There's this, you know, little hook here that you got to get past right there. Right. I'm trying to get this rock out. In the way of my uh, that might do it. One hour and 44 minutes on that shot clock. Like I said, this is two hours long. Let me give this a crack or two. Put them all a little bit deeper. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, keep going. You just need to kind of play them. Are we going to be able to get one in there is the next question. Can you squeeze it between other wedges? That looks good. There you go. Okay. Start over again or give up and let it come this way? <laughs> I'd say let's, it's, it's worth one more shot. So, Mickey, rock bar, squeeze that way and let that pull out the wedges. What do you think? Use the rock bar. I can use the one over here. Scoot over.
over for the camera just a bit. And uh, there we go. These things are free. on there. I'm going to give it a wedge. Okay. Might be free now. We need to actually kind of come back this way. We need to roll it back a little bit. We need to roll it back to here. We need to be pushing from this side. stuff. This is the kind of rail something that's forcing it to trail. Right. <laughs> we could just chop it out. Just punk wood. If that's what you want to do. I'm just, just trying to think of that or wiggle it that way and park it here. Because it's just yeah. gravity. Yeah. Stable or do we need to wait for it to end, right? Pretty stable, but one one well placed rock <sighs> makes me feel better about us. Oh, you guys get extra credit for this one. That was a hell of a cut. You weren't kidding that number 20 was a big one. We were counting them yesterday. Yeah. Number 10 is our other big one, but yeah, I, think I don't think it'll 10. be, I don't think it'll, it'll pale in compared to this one. Mm -hmm. Look at how dense this thing is. I know. And the fact that you had to undercut that, my God. Yeah. You guys are probably done for the day after that one. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Ish. I just saw him the first time. Right like this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm getting there, trust me. But look at the density on that thing. I mean, look at look at the rings. Yeah. That is absolute. I mean, this tree's got to be four or five hundred years old. Yeah. And it shows you how little water there is in this area, but I mean, that's absolutely beautiful, tight grain wood. Go on the other side; it's even clearer. Yeah, we got the light. Look at that beauty. And put your hand in there, just a perspective of how big that thing is. Yeah. I've been meaning to uh, put measurement marks. Yeah. Oh, good job, team. Yeah. Well done. It's... What do you think that is, 24? Uh, pretty close, maybe 22, 23.